What if you had one or two income producing properties that were totally paid off and feeding you income every single month? Now, what if you had more than just a few? Month after month, year after year, how do you think that would change your life? You know, in this video, we're gonna talk about actual examples, real world people who are doing this, and how you can retire early from investing in real estate. So let's dive in. No theories here, no tests. I'm talking about actual facts. I'm talking about investing in real estate while having a full-time job. Now, these are all things that I have personally done myself. I've been investing in real estate for the last 36 years. I bought condos, houses, land, rental income properties. And I'm not talking about just, you know, get rich quick, home flipping, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, yachts. You're in the wrong place if you're looking for that. But if you are looking for additional streams of income, you know, someone else who's paying for your place, paying for your retirement and financial independence, then you're in the right place. You may have watched my other videos here on this channel, and um, you know that I love to talk about real estate investing, uh, passive income, and hammering that like button. It's only gonna take you a few seconds and you're gonna get rewarded with super helpful videos just like this. So last year, 18% of the homes that were sold were sold to investors. You know, investors are building an empire of income producing properties and taking advantage of the rising prices and the continual rising rental rates. So with inflation, it's continuing. These rental rates keep on going up and up and up and it's keeping pace with inflation. Big corporations, investment funds, and small investors are all taking advantage of this fact. And that's the entire point of this video. Others don't even see what's going on here. They might not be aware of what's happening right before their own eyes, but you're different. You understand you really can harness the power of real estate investing, just like many others have. Now, this is where you win. Every single day, I've seen many who have actually retired and comfortably living from their real estate investments, and they live into the future. And if this is what you want, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Investing in real estate and income producing properties has allowed me and many others to move to the beach. Yes, I own multiple properties and I live a pretty good solid life. And I can tell you when you have all your expenses covered, you can do pretty much whatever you want within reason. Now, no matter where you live in the nation, if you make the right moves, it doesn't matter if you are, the economy is up or the economy is down or, you know, generating passive income from investing in real estate really does make life easier. Now think about all the properties that are located in the town that you live in. Think about all the ones that are not owner occupied. Someone is getting rent, you know, month after month. Now imagine that retiring and someone else is paying for your living expenses. But that's the entire point of this video. No matter where you live in America, if you achieve financial freedom, you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. And the best time to start thinking about your retirement is before your boss does, right? So how do you get started? This part is essential. And I'm going to tell you something, nine out of 10 people will never do this. But again, you're different. And I know this is why you will watch this all the way through into the end. So of course, this is where the work comes in. The strategy we're gonna follow is saving up a down payment between 10 and 20%. And that's of the purchase price of the property. I can assure you, if you do this part, you can fund your retirement strategy one time for the long term. Now, this means initially spending less of your monthly income and putting a little extra money into a savings account. Now take a look at where your money is flowing out today. Take a look at your car payments, your, your housing, your insurance, energy, healthcare, uh, groceries, restaurants, you know, clothing, personal care. Think about all the things, the entertainment, all the things that where money flows to outside where it goes to. Now, that means that you need to cut back on your daily Starbucks or delay a new car purchase or take that fancy vacation. That's what it is. But trust me, I can tell you one thing your future self is going to thank you. Also, you may need to work a little overtime or pick up a side hustle for some additional income. Now, I wanna tell you my story. When I was 21, 
I was working a full-time job and I kept my living expenses super low. So I saved. On the side, I was buying and selling cars for a profit. I was cutting grass. I was doing odd jobs and I was still working my regular job. Now, when I got my nest egg together, I put 20% down and I bought a rental house. So this rental house paid me passive income every single month. Now, the money was flowing to me rather than away from me. That's the whole purpose of this. That's the idea behind it. It was a great to feel this because I was on the receiving end finally. Everything before that, it was always going out. Additional income and additional streams of income. So different things coming in. That extra money flowed into me and allowed me to buy my next property even faster. So the seemingly small, insignificant things that we do on a daily basis are what bring us to where we are today. That's the compound effect. I have something that's super weird I wanna share with you. If you ask millionaires, how did they get rich? They'll usually get real quiet and don't want to share how they did it. And I don't know what it is about that, but I found self-made people usually have two common threads. First one is they've either made their money in real estate or they maintain their wealth in real estate. And number two, they went broke. After they saved their money, you heard me right, they went broke because what they did was they spent their money and their savings on an income producing property. Then they started that process and started saving over again. They didn't become wealthy overnight. You know, they saved and invested slowly and surely steady wins the race. Now, personally, I can tell you, I didn't click my heels three times and say there's no place like home and end up at the beach. It took years, you know, long-term goal that I had in my mind and I worked towards it all the time. So the question isn't what age you're going to retire. It's at what income, right? So what you want to look for is appreciating areas. Now, when you buy, you want to make sure that you're in an area that's growing and appreciating. You know, we only have so much time till retirement and time is ticking. So you're going to need an extra boost. And this is the reason and, and so important that you when you buy at this price and you look at inflation in a growing area, you know, the rents also increase. So you lock in at this price and the rents increase to make a bigger monthly income, but your expenses still stay the same. So when you parlay that income into the savings, into the purchase of your next property, that leverage puts the wind into your sales so you can get there even faster. Now, let's talk about cash flow too, second point. In retirement, you're gonna need cash flowing to you, okay? Historically speaking, demand for single family homes and prime vacation properties gives some of the best returns. And that's over the long term, okay? Not short term. We're looking long term here, guys. These types of properties have put many people into long term investments, okay? So the cash flow is the amount of money that's left over at the end of the day, like your profit after paying all your expenses. Now, while this may sound like it's simple, right? Finding good cash flow properties isn't quite as easy as it might seem. So buying the wrong investment property can create a negative cash flow, which means every month you need to put something towards it in your personal account. And that's not what you want. You want it for income. So if you calculate a property's cash flow, or how do you calculate a property's cash flow? You add all of the sources of potential income together and then subtract the expenses out. So the bottom number is the cash flow that generates the money. So here's what a simplified cash flow statement looks like, okay? This is for a client of mine in real estate who we had here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They bought a $350,000 single family house. The annual rent was $30,000. The annual mortgage payment was $22,100. That's including the insurance and the expenses. The annual operating expenses you know, taking repairs and that sort of thing, $1,400. So the projected cash flow was $6,500 a month. Now, for all you math geeks out there, you know, how many units do you need to retire? Just think about this too. They also got the appreciation of a property, potential appreciation that is, 
and they also got the deduction, okay? So for taxes. Now, when your tenants pay your mortgage off for you, all of that income flows to your bottom line and the rents probably increase into the future as well. So you could sell the house for a profit or you could continue to maintain this property and, and let it keep on feeding you. Do you see where this is going? So now focus on cash flow real estate markets. This is where you want to go. You know, drill down specifically to the actual community and then to the neighborhood. And like if it's a condo, even to the building level, because I'm going to tell you something. Cash flow can vary from one zip code to another or even from one building to another. So you have to analyze each individual one. Now, I want to ask you a question so you can ask yourself the question. How many properties do you need? How many condo rentals? How many homes in order to cover your rental, your, your retirement income, excuse me? Because your retirement income depends on a lot on your lifestyle <clears throat> and where you live. But it's savings, investing, and a long-term strategy. Now, if I end this video right here, that would be a little bit boring, right? So let's talk about what happens next. Any plan is useless unless you're actually taking action. So let's talk about the last two steps in this strategy that we're following, okay? Next one is leverage. It is true that if you have cash, it is a lot easier to buy real estate. But hear me out. If you buy a $500,000 worth of stocks, you're gonna need $500,000 in cash to give to the stockbroker before he's gonna place that order. However, if you buy a $500,000 property, you don't need 500,000 in cash. If you have the credit and you have the income, banks and financing companies can lend you the money and that's leveraging the asset. So you can leverage an asset that's worth more money than what you have into it with a limited amount of skin in the game. If you look at all those who bought just 10 properties over the last 10 years, that's one a year for 10 years, and they live a lifestyle of freedom. They can actually take vacations, buy all kinds of luxury items, and that's not usually the case, but if people invested in other things, the outcome is usually not the same. Currently, we're seeing incredibly low interest rates, and we haven't seen these in years, but considering the fact that the slightest change in an interest rate translates into hundreds of dollars in monthly and tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the mortgage, you know, it's easy to see how people with income generating real estate are able to successfully get ahead with this dream. Now, considering all the benefits of real estate, investing in real estate, the tax incentives like we talked about, uh, the equity buildup, uh, security, a sense of pride, it's easy to see why so many people own real estate. The next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is retirement. So, you know that some of the best memories are made in flip-flops, right? And often, when you think about you're at the end of something, you're really probably at the beginning of something else. So, retired. <laughs> I got to tell you, <laughs> that I personally cannot sit still. So I want you to know that I have no plans of ever calling myself retired. Uh, I never plan on stopping working. And, and I moved to the beach 16 years ago. I owned properties in multiple states and I had nine rental properties here on the beach. And I worked hard to get every single one of those rentals in top shape. So what did I do next? I sat on the beach. It's what they show on the cover of every retirement brochure, right? So. I had achieved one goal, which was I wanted to wear a hole in my flip-flops, and I did that. And then I asked myself, okay, so now what? You know, I can't sit. So that's to my purpose. I was bored to tears. Then I asked myself, okay, so I can't sit, so what do I do? My goal is, and my purpose is, to help you achieve your goals, no matter where you are in the nation. So I really love what I do. And my real estate team here in Myrtle Beach has helped many clients retire early from real estate investing. And our clients really do love having the additional passive income. So if you follow this plan, you know, within about 30 years or less, all of your rental properties are going to be paid off. And then once they're paid off, you know, you won't have a mortgage payment. So again, all that money is flowing to the bottom line. And that's when you can buy your Lamborghini or take that long vacation to Maui and sit in a penthouse in Vegas or whatever it is. 
Someone else has paid for all of your retirement while you were working your regular job. So plus with inflation, I can tell you this, um, your rental income will be increasing over time because historically we keep on seeing the rents continue to go with pace of inflation. So this channel is all about helping you make smart decisions. So um, if you put yourself into a position where you can build wealth and you can save money and, and you can then spend your days in retirement on the beach if that's what you want to do. So I just want to say a huge big thank you. I really appreciate you watching and I really want to know what you're planning on doing. So please comment below because I really want to hear what your plans are. And if you watch any more of these super helpful videos here on this channel, uh, go ahead, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. My name is Jerry Pincus. Uh, I'm here to help you avoid the pitfalls that are costly. And I hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Give me a thumbs up, will you?